time, we ask that you please remain standing until the colors have been posted. Remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem, followed by my old Kentucky home. Tonight, we gather to celebrate a milestone that will always be stitched into the fabric of our lives. For each of you sitting in these chairs, we celebrate with you not just the completion of your coursework, but also the investment that others are making in you. To date, the class of 2021 has earned in excess of $3 million in scholarships and awards, with many more to come. That is something that we all celebrate with you. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you some honored guests that we have with us this evening. Behind me on the stage, Mr. Sean Howard, Superintendent of Ashland Schools, Mr. David Latherow, Chairman of the Board of Education, Mr. Don Ashby, a board member, Dr. Blake Gillum, board member, Ms. Ashley Lehman, board member, and Dr. Patsy Lindsay, a board member. Also in attendance, Mr. Steve Dowdy, Assistant Principal, Mr. Brad Green, Assistant Principal, Mr. Jeff Carroll, Guidance Counselor, and Ms. Beth Ingram, Guidance Counselor. And finally, if you're here tonight and are a member of a faculty and staff at Ashland Paul G. Blazer High School, a teacher, a staff member, or a member, administrator at Ashland Middle School or one of our five elementary schools, I ask that you stand tonight as we thank you for the daily investment in our students that have led these fine young and women, women to this celebration. If you're here tonight as a staff member, I ask you to Thank you. In closing, class of 2021, I want to 
personally thank you for your leadership, your determination to improve our school, and your drive to make Blazer a place where students feel welcomed. Parents, I want to thank you for entrusting not only Blazer, but the entire National Independent School System with your children each and every day. To the class of 2021 graduation ceremony, today we are here to celebrate this class of seniors and to wish us luck on the journey ahead. Before I start, can we please get one big round of applause for these graduates? This applause is much deserved. We did it. We made it through a year unlike any other. We managed to graduate through the midst of a fierce pandemic, a fiery election. The journey was not easy. Circumstances made us change the way that we live and the way that we learn. Most of this academic year was taught online. It's funny how, in one year, teachers can go from yelling at students to stop talking to begging students to start talking. That's right. We are unique in our academic and athletic success. We are unique in our ability to adapt and overcome adversity. We are unique in our bonds and relationships that we have formed with each other. For the past four years, this class has grown up together. While all of our lives have been different, we have all relied on each other and helped each other become the young adults that we are today. This class is also unique because of the overwhelming support that we receive from this community. It is my honor to introduce to you our other valedictorian of the class of 2021, Caleb Braden Tackett. Hi, that's mine. This past year has been extremely hard. Our lives were forever changed back in March of last year. Restaurants were shut down, Hospitals were at full capacity and running out of supplies. Our loved ones faced untimely illnesses and in the worst case, death. In-person school was canceled. Basically, the whole world was shut down. But throughout all of this, it was friendship that helped get all of us through it. It was the friendships we made in elementary school, the friendships we made in middle school, the friendships we made in high school. The friends we've made over the years helped us get through one of the toughest times of our young lives. Whether it was hanging out with us, sending us care packages, or just simply checking in on us, our friends were by our sides, supporting us the whole time. Whether our friends were teachers who had a genuine interest in our lives, or they were just our fellow classmates that we had formed a bond with, they stuck with us through the thick and thin of it all. And I hope that each and every one of us can say we had our friends' backs the same way they had ours. As we go on our new journeys of life, whether that be the military, college, or the workforce. Hold on to these friendships. Appreciate the friends that have supported us and shaped us into the people we are today. Hang out once a month, grab a bite to eat, or even call them every week or so. Just do whatever you can to keep these friendships alive. These friendships, filled with love and support, are hard to find out in the real world. So don't take for granted something that might not last forever. Yes, we will find new friends as we get older, but very rarely will we find the types of friendships that come from being an Ashland Tomcat. Ashland has some of the most kind, most genuine, most amazing people that we have ever met. And I hope we are all able to preserve these friendships and make them last a lifetime. Thank you. One of the most prestigious awards given at Palm Tree Blazer High School is the Pollock Award. Since 1923, the Pollock Awards have been given to students who have demonstrated outstanding scholarship, outstanding character, outstanding leadership. Any senior may be nominated by a faculty member, then the faculty votes by secret ballot. A gold ring is given to the most outstanding girl, and a watch is given to the most outstanding boy in the graduating class. The most outstanding young lady in the class of 2021 has been part of many activities at Blazer. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Beta Club, Spanish Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, and International Thespian Society. 
A teacher wrote this, in addition to her many accomplishments on campus, she is an awesome human being. She is considerate of others, kind and meek in her mannerisms and humble. Another teacher wrote, she is one in a million because of her heart, her soul, and her love for helping others. This young lady is a highly skilled musician, trained in many instruments. She is part of Blazer's marching band and jazz ensemble, academic team, and she was voted homecoming queen and volunteer with our youth service center. She's graduating tonight summa cum laude with a 4.1765 grade point average. She plans to attend Bellarmine University in the fall and double major in musical performance and psychology. She is the daughter of Mark Riggs and Jennifer Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Miss Adriana Riggs. The most outstanding young man in the class of 2021 is an all-around good guy. He always has a friendly smile to greet everyone he meets. The young man is active in numerous school activities. He's co-captain of the 2020 state champion football team, a member of the National Honor Society, Beta Club, Science National Honor Society, Spanish National Honor Society, FBLA, and FCCLA. He was a 2021 Senior Salute recipient. One teacher wrote, what I believe is far more important is who he is as a person. I had the privilege to teach this young man for three of his four high school years, and I can confidently report that his resume, while lengthy and impressive, barely scratches the surface of this young man's character. He has a strong moral compass which leads him inside and outside of the classroom. I have seen him stand between bullies and their targets. I have seen him encourage classmates who are down. I have seen him outwork, out-hustle, and outlast his classmates and rivals in every classroom and every athletic field where he has found himself to be a student, a teammate, or a competitor. Graduating co-valedictorian of the class of 2021 and attending the University of Kentucky in the fall to major in chemical engineering, he is the son of Chad and Amy Tackett. Ladies and gentlemen, the most outstanding young man of the class of 2021 as determined by the faculty, Mr. Caleb Braden Peck. At this time, I'd like to present the class of 2021 and welcome to the stage, Mr. Sean Howard, Superintendent of Ashland Independent Schools. Would the graduating class of 2021 please stand? Board members, these students have fulfilled the requirements of Ashland Paul Blazer High Schools, the Ashland Board of Education, and the State Department of Education. I recommend the conferring of their diplomas. Jack Morgan Lazaro. <laughs> Taylor Brayden Tackett. Christiana Evett Brown. Thomas Oliver Skaggs. Ethan Harper Swan. Christopher Thomas Thornburg. Cody J. Camp. 
with Benjamin Lee Acuff. Luker Harrington Skaggs. Kaya Michael Ross. Kate Ryan Haney. Emma Alice Lamoureux. Catherine Grace Hutchison. Emily Grace Moore. Jocelyn Elise Dameron. Josie Ann Bevins. Grant George German. Taylor Renee Kraft. Adriana Hope Riggs. Hunter Paul Gillum. Harley Marie Cullum. Alexander Brandon Boyle. Colby Scott Coburn. Jenna Elise Cassidy. Caroline Marie Henry. Caleb Michael Cohut. Cameron Gage Lehman. Dalton Conley Gray. Lauren Brooke Spears. Leanna Paige Badger. Bo Jackson Smith. Elijah Patrick Miller. Cameron Mackenzie Patrick. Tyler Vaughn Miller. Jackson Daniel Malachi Fouch. Hayden Franklin Stroth. Wendell Jack Allen. Laura Kiana Stevens. Anna Marie Carter. David Christopher Keaton. Cameron Lee Cassidy. Haley Brooke Campbell. Emma Caroline Williams. Asher Grant Stevens. Emily Ann Barber. Kelly Alon Jackson. Tabitha Lynn Cassie Flowers. Abigail Vicey Montgomery Burchett. Allison Renee Jones. Jaden Mackenzie Boggs. Emma Janine Stansberry. Brandon Clay Webb. Graduates and guests, 
please stand for the singing of our alma mater. Senior class, Miss Emma Alice Slatter. Who are we? That is a great question. We've spent the past 18 years of our lives trying to figure this out. Countless hours in the classroom, hanging with friends, playing sports, practicing for concerts, and studying for tests, mm -hmm. trying to figure out who we are. Distinguished guests, family and friends, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2021. 